just had a break. We're Why back. Not? Have we? You wouldn't even know. We're Did still we have a break? Clothes. Who knows? Who knows? It could be three days later. Do you know what we're talking? Have we just worn the same clothes since three days ago? Yeah. Do you know what we're talking about? Have yeah. you watched the first one or are you just really confused right now? Go and watch part one. Mm-hmm. We're waiting for you. Go. We'll wait. We're continuing the weirdest make thrift buy suggestions of all time in this mm -hmm. new segment called mm -hmm. Make Thrift Why. Luciano is here. He hasn't seen any of these, so he's yep. seeing them for the first time. Unfiltered reactions. So let's get started on this first item. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you just stare at me? <laughs> <laughs> I think the joke on this is... <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yes, finally a swimsuit that allows me to sneak a hand poolside. <laughs> but also, it looks like it's made out of jeans. I'm like, who yeah. wants a denim swimsuit? Mm. Nobody. But... I mean, there's so many things about this. When you go swimming and that arm gets wet, it's so much fabric, it's gonna be really weighing down that side of your body. And when you get out of the water, it's just gonna be so heavy and gross and wet and clammy. <laughs> Mom, I'm really excited about our trip to Cancun, but I'm worried about what people will think about my one monstrous lizard claw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then their mom makes them a special swimsuit. <laughs> you know what, if you have a monstrous lizard claw, just wear a normal swimsuit. Other people's. That's other people's yeah, problem. Yeah, that's other people's problem. Then I'm like, yo, lizard claw, don't mm. cover it up with denim. No. Oh, um, so <laughs> these, are, these are by Rihanna. <laughs> what? These are by a stoned middle of the night Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> what if I chop my <laughs> tracksuit pants in half? <laughs> wide-legged it looks like it makes your legs look like bones i love them because they they get rid of everything you want from tracksuit pants <laughs> do you love the look of tracksuit pants but hate how warm and comfortable they are <laughs> chop the middle out do you want to show off a very specific section of <laughs> yeah. your your lower upper leg <laughs> they also look like they would deteriorate immediately yeah the edges are raw as well they yeah. haven't hemmed them yeah the edges anything. are raw because rihanna made this at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> Is why. <laughs> you think that she individually cut all of them? I think there's one pair. <laughs> no one's bought them. It's um, it's 114 pounds. Of course it is. <laughs> <sighs> I should clarify. If any of you people really like wearing these things, good for you and yeah, go for it. Go for it. Don't for worry sure. about. Don't, don't worry about, about us. Dinkos fun think. Of it. <laughs> us dinkos. We're just a couple of squinks. We're just a couple of dink squinks. Yeah. I hope that's not an offensive term somewhere. No, 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 I hope not. <laughs> if that's offensive in your language, I'm sorry. I just made it up. We're just yeah. a couple of dinkos. Yeah, of doinkuses. Doinkuses. <laughs> All right, next door. Aww. <laughs> Teeny tiny little phone. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> this is not clothes. What is this? I don't know. Someone sent it to me. They said, please do this for a make through fire episode. Yeah, the, I'm not, is it supposed to be amazing. functional? It's amazing. Like, they're quite tiny. I think it's like for a dollhouse. Uh, maybe it's like for, it's Barbie's iPhone. It must be like Barbie's iPhone. Wow. They're quite incredible, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you'd have a hundred of them in a bowl of cereal, you know? It's like iPhone <laughs> cereal. Chomp, chomp. Yeah. Well, those are some real small phones. <laughs> Not practical, I would say. Oh, hang on, I'll just Google it. <laughs> you need a magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah. Put under a microscope. And a pin to press that. <laughs> oh, come on! I don't know why, but this is the one that really annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, the point of cowboy boots is that they, like, protect your feet and they're nice and sturdy, right? It's for people in... Very, very cowboy boot heavy areas, you know? <laughs> it's for that one hot day each year in Montana or something. <laughs> it just looks like a really nice pair of vintage cowboy boots that have just yeah, been that's, destroyed. Yeah, that's the thing. And just the wear, the way he's wearing jeans with them like they're normal cowboy boots. This dude was just like, oh, the tops of my feet get so sweaty in my cowboy boots. <laughs> I think they needed to discover moisture wicking socks rather than just cutting up their yes, boots. Yes, agreed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you thought these shoes were impractical, oh. <laughs> get ready for a whole new world what is of it? fashion. Yeah. What is it? Oh! They're... These are from Gucci. <laughs> they're $1,800! They're made out of goat hair, Luciano. Oh. 
Goat hair. Of course they're going to be expensive. They look like Chewbacca. <laughs> Both of them. Cute. I think they would be really uncomfortable. Like, don't they yeah. just... Wearing wigs on your feet. It's like wearing little wigs on your feet. One rainy day and you'll smell like wet dog for the rest oh. of your life. <laughs> you would not want to walk through a puddle with these. A wet goat, I guess. <laughs> How itchy would your ankles be? Mm -hmm. And yet this person's decided to wear them without socks. Oof. <laughs> and rolled up jeans. Yeah. Again, I love the casualness of like, roll up your jeans to show off your wookie feet. <laughs> well. Hashtag upcycled. Hashtag DIY for life. <laughs> They're made out of real Levi's. That yeah. is a waste. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the rest of the Levi's went into that hideous jacket, the melted jacket. Right. What? <laughs> yeah. This is the matching shoe. Let me guess, they're like $700. I don't know. Probably. Let's look that up. I don't even know what I'm at with rice. Why are all these things so expensive? They're only $69. Compared to the other weirdo jeans, reasonable. Oh, oh they've got some. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus wore them, of course. I'm surprised they're only $69 if Miley Cyrus wore them. Bump that up to $600. Don't you know how it works? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so this is $585. Oh, as someone who has frequently had to use electrician's tape on their own shoes, this makes me very mad. <laughs> they're distressed. Superstar sneakers. Don't you just like? They're just acknowledging how cool you are, uh, Charmo, for having to tape up your five dollar shoes because they got holes in them after you wore them too much. I don't know what to say about this. It's it's a poor person costume. Yeah, it's is what it is. Yeah. Look how grimy they look. Uh, like, I bet it's fake grime as well. Yeah. I bet it's like two hundred dollar canned grime spray <laughs> that they have to spray on them. Oh, and I bet the canned grime is like really toxic and hazardous for the, <laughs> for the workers yeah, for the who workers. have to make it as well. What do the workers who make this, what could they possibly think? That the world's <laughs> f***ed up. Correctly. Hey, hey don't swear. <laughs> I'll bleep it. <laughs> These are comparatively tame. <laughs> I know, after seeing all of the rest, you kind of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, right. my standard has been like... <laughs> I think they kind of look like a, a welcome mat. Yeah, they do. Two little welcome mats. Welcome to <laughs> my feet. They look like, you know what they look like they'd be good for? Mm. You know how you can, like, I play that game with my little nieces where they stand on top of my feet mm. and we walk around? <laughs> That's what they'd be good for. Comfy. <laughs> If someone else was standing on your feet. It's a very specific circumstance to be wearing these Well, I'm trying shirt. to be positive. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. You want to play that game where you dance <laughs> yeah, on my feet? Wait. Gotta put on my sandals. <laughs> Gotta sandals. put on my specific sandals. <laughs> They're <laughs> faux fur, at least. Yes, at least. Should I buy them for you for Christmas? Nope. <laughs> okay. Buy me something good. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. What is... What... It's called booby cutout overwear. Well, the name is accurate. It's so just been cut out and then just left to flop. <laughs> so it's meant to look like you were like, oh, my boobs too so hot for a sweater. <laughs> sweater was a bad choice. <laughs> like, Give me those scissors, please. <laughs> <laughs> snip, 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 snip. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> Basically. Oh, pre-destroyed clothes. Mm, just... just And they've left the edges raw. Mm -hmm. It's cool to leave the edges raw, because then it looks like you've done it yourself. So I want to see how much this one costs. The choice, the use of the word booby is very illustrative, I think, of the logic behind this. $290. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like the target market for this is people who don't know about the existence of scissors. <laughs> So here's this hoodie as well for someone who doesn't know about the existence of scissors. <laughs> oh, it's also called Bust Out High Low Hoodie Crop Top. So the crop top is part of it? No, it's just the hoodie. You wear it with a crop top. It... Wear it with the with the boobies <laughs> out, cut out overwear. I'm freezing except my boobs. <laughs> Like the rest of my body is cold enough that I need a sweater. Hey, you don't have <laughs> boots. They get sweaty. It's, I think these are practical. Yeah. All of these things is just like a magic act. I'm going to cut a piece off of some clothing. Now it costs more. <laughs> yeah. It's like tapas. So we live in Sydney 
and a few years ago tapas became really popular but not like actual good tapas like in Spain mm. just basically <laughs> it was like we're gonna make the food smaller and put the price up yeah it's tapas it's tapas now <laughs> and it wasn't even Spanish food it would be like yeah. yeah we used to serve fish and chips now we serve it in a little teacup it's tapas <laughs> $18 please <laughs> let me get back to the DIY spirit Cut your own clothes into pieces. Yeah, guys, cut your own clothes up. God sake. I always cut up my own clothes. Oh, you always cut like... The... I always cut the collar out of shirts yeah, and have itchy collar. If you bought a pre-cut t-shirt, I would murder you. <laughs> you know true. that. The scissors would be used for a different purpose. Murder. Presenting. Okay. The cutout jacket. <laughs> so, um, Luchi, I was thinking, I'm just going to get some scissors here. No, no. <laughs> Leave my elbows alone! No, no! I love my jacket! But don't you want to be as cool as her? <laughs> she looks so bored. She looks pretty sad, actually. She does look sad. She looks like... Look, let me just cut these... Yeah, stop. <laughs> but Luchi, we can make this jacket, which probably wouldn't be worth very much. We can make it worth like $500 or whatever this costs. She has this new trend with models on websites where they have to look like they've just gotten some really disappointing news. I don't know if that's a new trend. Like, we're not going to Disneyland this year. Check the photo now. <laughs> Man, it's poor people's costume. Yeah, it is. Ah. Oh. So here's, is, we're getting into some, some nicer things here. This is just a slanket. It's just a slanket. I'd love you to make a slanket. Would you like to look as cool as that guy? But he looks happy. He looks too happy, if anything. Yeah, he's, he's not looking like a sad model. I don't, I don't think he got the memo about the sad model. <laughs> he didn't. He's kind of giving me the creeps, to be honest. <laughs> Can you see this one? What is this? It's just like a distressed... Well, it's um, moth-eaten. The idea is that it's moth-eaten. It's just got holes in it. It's just like a nice sweater, skirt, set <laughs> that's been eaten by moths. Work fast, are you moths? <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a hundred of these jumpers. Those moths better be getting a good pay. They better be getting a living wage. Please, sir. I have to leave. It's moth Christmas. <laughs> You know we don't respect your moth holidays here. <laughs> Get back to work. Keep eating those shorts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. This is a new hat. <laughs> it's fifty dollars. This, as opposed to moth eating, is alligator eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Equal opportunity. They've got alligators in the factory too. This was dropped momentarily into a vat of piranhas. <laughs> Oh no, my cap! I got it out before they did too much damage. Bring, 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 bring. Hello, Hugo Voss. Yeah, it's your cousin, Louis <laughs> Voss. Oh, hello. Um, yes, hello. I haven't heard from you for a long time, Louis. <laughs> I've got that new little look you're looking for. Oh, yes, what is it? I dropped my lucky cap. You know my lucky cap that mm, I always wore when you were kids. Mm -hmm. I dropped it in a vat of piranhas. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, it is gonna be the next big thing. <laughs> it's look. Gonna be Louis, we're gonna make a million bucks. <laughs> Was it Hugo Boss? Oh yeah, it's Hugo Boss, not oh, Hugo Boss. Know. Who's Hugo Boss? <laughs> We're just gonna find his LinkedIn or something. Hey, Hugo Boss is a person. Hugo Boss ab so liberte eine Ausbildung als Landwehrmesse in Wismar und Leistet. Why don't translate this? Oh, there we go. Okay, Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss was, uh, he completed training as a land surveyor in Wismar. This was he was a hunter and photographer. Okay. So that's Hugo Voss. <laughs> Alright, I think we're on our last one. You ready? Oh, second last one. Oh, I take back my deep breathing. Okay, so this was a suggestion that I didn't really understand, and I was wondering if you could make any sense of it. Mm -hmm. So this is someone who said, you should make a peekaboos. <laughs> okay. Like, Do you know what they meant? The babe, the game you play with babies to teach them about object permanence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't help you. Damn. If any of you have any ideas, let me know. Because I want to make a peekaboos. <laughs> oh, don't don't say you want to make something before you know what it is. Okay. All right. So this is the lucky last one. Now, no one actually suggested this one, but I went on Twitter earlier today, and um, the internet seemed quite outraged by it. Outrage? <laughs> on the internet? No. I don't believe. Couldn't it. have been. <laughs> so this here 
mm -hmm. um, is a Prada. Now you might be thinking it's a paper clip, but it's Correct. not. It's a Prada paper clip shaped money clip. <laughs> Great. In other words, a paper clip for your money. And guess how much it is, Luciano? No, no, a thousand dollars. A hundred and eighty-five. A <laughs> thousand. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Oh boy. Cool. $185. Who has this much just wadded up cash that they need a dedicated money clip? Like, are there engineers working away in the Prada labs being like, a simple paper clip will not hold the money together adequately? The question is, how much money will it clip? Yeah, I don't know. 185 bucks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. But hey, it's made in Italy. Oh, I'm gonna take it all back. <laughs> you love it? I love it. <laughs> Giovanni loves it. Supporting the Italian economy. <laughs> so, um, hmm. how do you feel after that? I feel oh, exhausted. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a bubble where these kind of things come towards me mm. and I'm just seeing the worst of fashion. But I feel like, I feel like 2017 has been a bad year for fashion. Mm. Or fashion's just been trolling us this year. Yeah. It's not, the, I have no problem with the wackiness, mm. which is fine. I have a problem with the minimal effort to maximal price tag of all these things. I have a problem with most of this, you could just take a pair of scissors yeah. to a normal piece of clothing and make it for yourself. I know. It's a, yeah, It's that's the thing is that it's this conspicuous consumption like... Oh, I could have just cut my sweater open, but I paid $285. And another thing that really bugs me about these is like those sneakers. Like the Which idea- I forgot them already. The sneakers with duct tape? Um, the idea with those, those $585 sneakers I think, is hmm. to look poor. Is to put on a poor people yeah. costume. Mm. I'm not into it. <laughs> not into it. Uh, I feel- Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look at some nice clothes. Uh, Can you send in nice clothes for a while, please, guys? <laughs> just like... make a peekaboo. Oh, I do just need to make a peekaboo, I guess. We're both gonna go to the kitchen, make a quick peekaboo. Oh no, 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 that sounds like something else. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> hey, Luchi, can you plug my merch? Sure, yeah, absolutely. This came from our first episode. Huh? Huh? Together. Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, You're doing a great job of plugging the mm, merch by just going, mm, uh, 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 Where can you get this merchandise, Luciano? Mm, ah. <laughs> oh, hey, Luchi, cool patch. Where did you get it from? Hey, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a friendly stranger. Well, thank you for inquiring after my patch. It's my favorite thing I own. Oh, is it? Can I have a look at it? It's great! It says, don't tell them about the RoboSharks. Huh. Where did you hear that quote? Actually, I heard that on a fantastic YouTube channel. What is that called? Vsauce! <laughs> <laughs> it's Annika Victoria, a quote for the in crowd. Mm -hmm. And some of them are RoboSharks, mechanized. Don't tell them about our RoboSharks. And where can I get myself one of these? Why, you could purchase one of these at dftba.com. Ah, but I am worried. Is it made in a sweatshop? Absolutely not. These patches are produced in a RAP certified factory. Great! But seriously, buy my patches. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're made, really nice. Produced in a RAP certified factory in China, available at dftba.com. Buy them. And there's other ones, isn't there? Yeah, there's other ones as well. Yeah, we... <laughs> I can't see that. Check it out. Check it out. And then there's what? Here's one. Here's one. Look, look how cool your denim jacket could be. All right, and you don't even need to cut the elbows your out. <laughs> That's it, dudes. That's it. Rowdy. Click the bell to get so, for some reason. So that yeah, what's the new thing? You got to click the bell. So click that, the bell for some reason. So that you're actually you got to turn notifications on. Oh, so that you know if I post a video. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Bye. Now hold. Freeze frame.
Reggie, I'm freeze. 